Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Uh, this is the third uh, recording for Islam. The previous one had, had some technical troubles. So I'm going to continue where I left off on the previous video, which is after we calculated the CEV, what we are going to do is calculate the profit for the fourth year now. So as you can see here, the first three years profits are here. And we see that the final, final profit for the whole contract is minus 10,000 which is we are going to lose 10,000 because the cost has come up to 210 whereas the contract price only 200,000. So what we are going to do is if we add up all the year's uh, profits we are going to get minus 10,000. Okay that's what you are going to get. So I am going to put that minus 10,000 here. So basically what we are left is we are going to calculate the fourth year's profit by taking this, okay, all right, okay, and then minusing the sum of the first three years profits, and that should give us the correct one. It's zero. Why is it zero? Because if you if you take this two first two years, you have taken forty three thousand three hundred thirty three, all right, in profit, and the third year we have taken three thousand loss. So now we have already got minus 10,000 here. So which we say that we have already taken all the losses. So in year 4 we don't have to do anything because there is no profit or loss. So if you just add up these two, we will actually get the minus 10,000. Let me do it another way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sum up all these three here. Alright, all this, okay. And then we will, hopefully we will end up with Okay, I think it's a circular reference. Let me take care of that. Okay, let me delete that first. Okay, yeah, there you are. Okay, so what I did was I took the sum here, sum D9 to D12, which is the profits for year 1, year 2, year 3, and year 4 is already minus 10,000, which means year is 0. Okay, which means now year 4 profit is actually 0. All right because this adds up to already minus 10,000. So let's do the income statement, okay? So the profit and loss from this is now is 10,000, which we already calculated. So in the in the exam question, you should actually do it at the same time as you do the balance sheet. So what I'm doing here is actually putting in the losses here, of, uh, losses of profits here. And then I'm just putting in the formula, okay, this one is zero. So you got zero there. Actually, you should put a zero. All right, I don't know why it gets a dash. All right, it becomes a dash. Never mind. Okay, so there's no profit in year four. Okay, now let's go into this. This is not billings. Okay, here the billing is 20%. This is of the contract price. 20% eh? of the contract price. So the amount billed, we are going to calculate that now. So 20% multiplied by the contract price is always 200,000. I'm going to make that into absolute formula which is f4 okay there you are so all right so 20 if you look at the formula here you see it's b23 times c4 b23 is this one c4 is the contract price so 20 percent of contract price is 40,000. i'm going to copy this down so we are faster so 30 percent of the contract price is 60,000. 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 2 is 6 2 times 2 is 4 here. So you can see that if you add this, if you add this all together, we will get 200. We will build the government or the, the our customer 200,000. Okay, so there you are. This is the amount we build. So this one actually will be debited to this is not account receivable and credit to this is not billings. So this is the amount. So this is go to credit of this is not billing, and that must be deducted from the balance sheet after the this is not WIP. So what we're going to do is I'm going to okay put it as a minus because it's credit. So I'm going to take these figures here. Alright. So if I actually were to let's see whether it works. No, it doesn't. Okay, so the second year will be it will be minus because it's a credit balance. So it's 60,000. Third year is uh, minus Again, 60. 
and fourth year is okay now in the fourth year the system will up you have to add up the what is the fourth year uh, this thing the fourth year the cost is uh, where is the fourth year cost oh yeah the fourth year the cost is 210000 the final cost okay 210000 okay because the cost went up by 60 from 150 so 210 minus all this so here if we add this up we get 180 right so what we do is we get we get this one okay so the answer is 210000 minus 180000 so in the final year the cost is 30000 so all this will total 210 okay so here we go, all right. So if this is not work in progress, the year four we have to add the cost of that last cost is thirty thousand, all right. So here what we are going to get again is we're going to sum this up from here one seventy plus this. You know the profit is zero in year four, right? Okay, we calculated that already. So you see that it comes to the contract price. It must always come and reach the contract price when the construction is finished. All right. So now, okay. So here it will be uh, the assistant billings for year four is. I'm going to take this from here, which is forty thousand. All right. And here, in year four, the WIP is going to be two hundred. You see this figure, two hundred. So I'm going to put that in the balance sheet. Okay. Just this figure. This is what is going to be in the balance sheet. You see, we can get it from this ledger T account. All this goes to the balance sheet. It is year one cost plus profit and accumulates huh? and then the uh, the balance plus the year two cost plus the profit for year two and then the balance plus the year three cost but in this case we have to go down with the CDB so we minus the P3 we get 170 here so it's 170 and finally we add the 170 to 30 it's 200 okay 200 okay so there is some problem here I made a mistake in the Ististan building here it should be accumulated okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to amend the formula okay the system belongs to accumulate to 200,000 so I'm going to add this okay there you are 40 plus 60 is 100 all right it's same thing like the WIP is this one building will also add up to the contract price so I'm going to amend this formula again I'm going to add all right uh, I call the um, which is C20, sorry, C25 plus this one here. Okay, alright, so so it is not individual. So we take this one plus the billing for year 4. So you can see that, you can see, and finally, no, no, something wrong here. Alright, let's take this 160. Alright. 150 minus this one. So we get 200,000. You see? So the balance sheet is this not WIP. It accumulates up to the 200,000. And the is this not billings also accumulate to the 200,000 because you can build maximum of 200,000. Okay? So if we take the difference, okay, here it will be zero. Yeah, here it will be zero. Why? Because we have finished the contract, okay, to be zero. So this means that this is system WIP is no more in the balance sheet of the bank. It has been transferred to the, uh, it has been transferred to the, uh, the customer. So you see here, this is a typical um, example. So we began with uh, the cost, which was uh, 150, and the contract price 200. We expected 50. So cost incurred of 30, we use the percentage of completion method, 30,000 or 150, we get 20%, 20% of the profit of 50,000 is 10,000. Next year we got 100 over 150, that is two third, multiply it by 50% again, we get 33,000. Unfortunately, here the, price, the cost has gone up. So here, as I said, cost of the accounting concept where 80, if you are going to result in a loss, you have to bring down your asset to the cash equivalent value or net realizable value. So we calculated the CEB using the contract price minus further expected cost, which is actually the 200,000 minus the further expected cost of 
uh, we have already incurred 180, so we expect another 30. So 200 minus 30,000 was 170,000 CEV. So in order to bring down, you see we already had one, two, two, three, and then a beer three. We had to bring it down to 53, 170,000 to CEV. So we had to credit 53,000 to the WIP, which means the debit to the income statement. 53,333 means it's a loss for the third year. The fourth year, if you add up all these profits, you see the final outcome of the contract is 210,000 is a cost, 200,000 is the contract price, so the final outcome is minus 10,000 loss. So all we have to do is add up, add up the profits and losses over the four years. We see that 10 plus 10, 343 minus, is minus 10. So we don't have to take any profit or loss here because that is already minus 10,000, which is the final outcome of the contract. Meanwhile, we build up our ISTISNA work in progress and the balance sheet. In the balance sheet, you show ISTISNA WIP 40, keep on increasing eh, with the profits. The, the cost plus profit, cost plus profit. Okay, then we bring it down to the CEV. Then again, we add the cost there for and zero profit. We get back to the contract price. At the same time, we contract we, we calculate the progress billings, which is percentage of the contract price. First year was 20%, multiply by the contract price, we 40, 30%, multiply by 260 in the second year, and so on until the fourth year. So this one will have to be deducted. And this is accumulative, right? So first year is 40, second year is 40 and 60, you get 100, third year is 40 plus 60 plus 60, this 160, all right? And then fifth year is 200,000, which is the contract price. So if we deduct 200 minus 200, is zero, which means in year four, we transfer the construction to the customer. So you can see that in year one, we had a net balance of zero, 73 in the second year, 10,030 is zero, because it's been transferred. At the same time, we can put in the income statement. First year, we had 10,000 profit. Second year, 33. Third year, 53. And that's a loss. Fourth year zero profit or zero loss. Means there is no profit or loss in the fourth year. So you should put a zero here. Right? So uh, so the other one which you can see is actually the start account receivable. Now I didn't say how much is actually paid. Now let us say that this the amount we bill is paid in the second year. Alright? So what will happen is this year you won't get paid this 40. Next year, the year two you will get 40. Alright? So what we'll see in the uh, balance sheet is in year one, if that is the case, you must refer to the question. Huh? It's not automatic. You have to refer. To if this is the case, we assume that this forty thousand is paid by the customer in the second year. That's why it's still hanging. Now in the second year, we build that sixty thousand, right? Okay, but we don't have the forty thousand balance from here because we assume that they have paid the forty thousand. Okay. So here we will get another 60,000 because the second year 60,000 has been paid and finally in the fourth year we have 40,000 because this will be paid in the fifth year. This is as, this is an assumption we make. Eh? All right? Now don't con be confused. In a system account receivable it is not cumulative because the customer keeps on paying as we build. Whereas here we build up the asset from zero cost, we cost and we add up the profit and then finally we come to the contract price. Similarly, the billings, is this not billings is a cumulative contract asset account to set off the, the is this not WIP. Alright? So this is uh, this is what you get. I think now I hope you have you have in the understood. So this is a normal uh, you know uh, is this not account with a law situation. I hope you can understand. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.